You got to walk your journey. You have to walk your specific journey. Don't allow somebody else to come on and try to dictate what your journey is going to be. Don't allow somebody to come into your life and dictate what your spirituality is supposed to be like. Walk the path that you came here to walk. You didn't come here to follow in the footsteps of others. You know what I mean? You did not come here to be a cookie cutter seat of somebody else. You, you know what I mean? Man, you didn't come here to be the next Kitty Jakes or any of these other people. You came here to be you. You. What does that look like for you? What does that look like for you? So often we spend so much try, time trying to fit in with everybody else's expectations and everybody else's demand of us that we never take the time to get connected to the source and find out, okay, why am I here? What am I supposed to be doing? This person wants me to do this type of job. This person wants me to do this. My mama wants me to be a registered nurse. My daddy wants me to be an engineer or architect or a scientist and da-da-da-da, teacher, da-da, all this other stuff. And then that is good, but their intentions are good. You know what I mean? But that may not be the path that you came here to walk. Man, we have to grow up. And part of growing up is sitting back saying, okay, you know what? Man, I got to discover who I am. It don't matter what everybody else say. It don't matter how everybody else feel about it. They live their life the way that they wanted to. Or they live their life the way that they chose to. If they regret it, that's on them. But that's not going to be me. That's not going to be me. Over the last 28 years, man, I've made a lot of people mad. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've pissed a lot of people off because I wouldn't do what they wanted me to do. I wouldn't stay in church. Um, I wouldn't do the Christian thing. You know, I wouldn't bow down to these psychotic, crazy ass, fucked up, twisted ass women. You know what I mean? That wanted to just neuter me. You know what I mean? I'm not here for the bullshit. It is what it is. We got to grow up. We have to grow up. And we have to understand that growing up means that sometimes you're going to have to walk this path alone. You're going to have to walk your journey all alone. And so many of us are terrified of that. So much so to where we won't even walk our journey anymore. We'll get on somebody else's path just so that we won't be alone. We'll do what everybody else is doing. Just so that, we'll, that we won't get scrutinized. Just so that we won't get judged. I don't give a damn about being judged. I've been judged my whole life. You know what I mean? And then your harshest critics, as twisted as this gun sound, the harshest critics are always going to be your family members and those twisted ass self righteous motherfucking Christians. They're always going to be the most self righteous. They're always going to be the ones that judge you the most. And talk about what you shouldn't be doing and what you should be doing and da 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 and all this other bullshit. You have to learn to ignore them. You have to learn to push past them. You have to learn to say, okay, you know what? I'm secure in me. Your opinion of me is completely irrelevant. Not that I don't dis not that I disrespect you or anything of that nature. It's just the fact that I don't value your opinion of me. You're entitled to your opinion. And I'm entitled to dismiss it. Why? Because the great majority of people couldn't walk the path that you walk. The great majority of people couldn't go through all the hell and trauma that we've gone through. And because they didn't walk our path, because they didn't go through the crap that we've gone through, they don't get the right to tell us how to live. Because you didn't grow up the way I grew up. You didn't endure the pain and suffering I endured. You don't get the right to speak into my life and tell me what I should and shouldn't be doing. Nah. And that's where we have to grow at. I don't give a damn how much education they have. I don't give a damn how quote unquote spiritual they think they are. 
They don't get the right to tell you what path you're supposed to be on. They don't have the right to judge you and make you feel bad about the choices you're making on your journey. Stop giving these people the right. Stop giving these people that power. You guys heard me talk a lot. Man, take back your power. Take back your authority. This is your life. Live it the way that you're supposed to live it. And can't nobody tell you how you're supposed to live it. The truth is, you have to figure that out as you go along. 